thanks for staying with us. Uh, everyone wants to learn yoga, even the kids. You know what everyone says about yoga? How it is uh, the road to fulfillment or even a way to stay fit. But imagine learning yoga from porn stars. Shocked? Well, it is true and that is what one yoga camp is doing here in Chennai called Tantra the Path of Love. The camp run by instructors from abroad even has classes where students hold hands and go through the steps as though they were learning salsa and not yoga. An NDTV Hindu special investigation. I am here at this yoga camp where I have enrolled as a student. It's been a couple of days since news emerged that foreign porn stars were doubling up as yoga instructors. But I have no problem signing up as a student. And soon had one of them telling me that many of the instructors perform in adult movies. The yoga teachers, who tra uh, yoga trainers rather, yes, they've yes. acted in porn movies abroad. Yes, yes. Yes, you're completely right. Years of study and practice. And they travel all over the world as yoga instructors, assuming new identities in every city they go to. These yoga instructors have had nothing getting in the way of Tantra or the path of love, as the camps are called until now. But now they are under the scanner. This is the sex side, the sex side, the sex side, the yoga side. ஒரு தகவல் கேள்விப்பட்டோம் கேள்விப்பட்டதற்கு அடிப்படையில் வந்து காவல்துறையில் இது உண்மையாக பொய்யான் விசாரிக்கும்படி ஒரு புகார் அளித்திருக்கிறோம் ஆக்டிங் ஆன் அ கம்ப்ளைண்ட் ஃபைல் பை திஸ் அவுட் ஃபிட் த போலீஸ் ஹவ் ஸ்டார்ட் ப்ரூவிங் த கேஸ் டு அசர்டைன் இஃப் த யோகா சென்டர் வாஸ் யூஸ்ட் டு ஷூட் பான் மூவிஸ் இன் சென்னை சலீம் ஃபார் என் டிவி ஹிந்து Well, those were all the stories uh, from the state. Now on to the national news now. After he launched a fierce attack against the BJP and Baba Ramdev, uh, Janardhan Dwedi was targeted at a press conference by a man who tried to throw a slipper at him. The man has been identified as Sunil uh, Kumar from Rajasthan. He was allegedly posing as a journalist. Sunil Kumar was later grabbed by congressmen who in turn attacked him before the police took him into custody. The attack was pre-planned, said Mr. Dwedi. Minutes later, he appears to be an RSS activist, said the always controversial Digvijay Singh, the General Secretary of the Congress. I think there's some, something has to be done by the, you know, all political parties, by the security agencies and journalists as well. So, some kind of arrangement should be worked out by which journalists are not harassed also. So that, so I think within the journalist community, they have to come come up with some idea, some kind of mechanism by which these incidents are not repeated. What one final point, uh, you, as you saw these e events, uh, clearly, uh, do you feel now this led to a polarization because of Baba Ramdev's incident? Uh, clearly, it's a trying time uh, politically to see uh, what has happened. Uh, you can't really distinguish between. The I two. think there are people, there are political forces who are trying to. exploit the situation they who are trying to take political advantage of those happenings and as mr davidi he was rightly pointing out those forces he was indicating hinting towards those forces who are trying to take the advantage of the situation and who are you know i mean the masks which he referred so i think all these forces i mean their integrity and their you know, credentials are under question And on to more news of the Ramdev saga now. Uh, it was a forceful eviction for him as uh, which has uh, reached the Supreme Court now. Now the top court uh, took suo moto cognizance of the event and uh, sent a notice asking the center to explain why and in what situation was Ramdev evicted. The court wants the Chief Secretary of Delhi, the Union Home Secretary and the Delhi Police Commissioner to file personal affidavits explaining the situation. Ramdev has thanked the Supreme Court for quick action on his eviction A quick weather report now from the city of Chennai and everything that's been happening tonight. If you're wondering why it's been pouring cats and dogs outside your homes, then the reason uh, reasons are the fact that it's uh, convective rains or in other words very much seasonal thunder showers expected to continue uh, possibly through the night and uh, early morning as well. Uh, due to this downpour tonight, Chennai's roads experienced a few niggles, severe traffic delays. Many vehicles have come to a uh, complete halt uh, with breakdowns, and even a tempo traveller was seen overturned on the old Mahabalipuram road. 
Well, it's time to slip into a short break here on the bulletin. But coming up on the other side is all the sports action. Bjorn Borg's six titles have been matched on the court of Roland Garros at the French Open. If you haven't watched last night's Spanish domination, come back for more.